Many of us are members of the Red Oak High School Network on Facebook or have a multitude of friends on MySpace. That's right, Lexi. No one can deny that teenagers often are members of social networking sites. However, these sites are sometimes used for identity theft. Hawkeye News crime anchor Roseanne Foster is here with us with some useful tips on how to keep our identity safe on the web. Roseanne? Thanks, Lexi and Chris. Many of us have at one time or another had some form of social networking site, whether it's a Facebook, a Zynga, or a MySpace. In fact, there are approximately 150 million people using Facebook, never mind MySpace or Zynga. There's nothing wrong with that. This is, as a general rule, a completely harmless and even beneficial form of communication. However, it can at times become a tool for others to take advantage of us through identity theft. We all post information in our About Me section, thinking it's harmless. According to IdentityTheft.com, 74% of social networking users divulge personal information. We post our birthdays, our school, our hometown, our email, our picture. Usually, it is completely harmless. But in some cases, the information we post can be used to discover our password to our accounts. And since many of us use the same password for credit cards, billing, and bank accounts, this information should not be in the hands of strangers. In some cases, it doesn't matter. For some of us, our parents pay the bills and our password and financial accounts have little to do with each other. But that's not the only harm. Identity theft involves more than just hacking accounts. According to OurIdentitySafe.com, Congress recently passed a law which allows the last four digits of our social security numbers to be put on public documents. While this alone may seem of little importance, when that information is coupled with a birthday and a hometown, researchers were able to correctly guess the first five digits about 40% of the time. So the question many of us are asking is, why does it matter? We're teenagers and those of us who don't already have financial information that can be used aren't at risk, right? Wrong. According to the teen portion of the ID Theft Center website, identity theft is when someone uses your information for their gain. Thieves can use information about you, such as your social security number, to open up fraudulent credit cards, get student loans, and even get out of traffic tickets, all of which can affect us, as we would be responsible for the cards or loans. So what can we do to prevent identity theft? IdentityTheft.com advises, avoid posting phone numbers or addresses in your profile. Use strong security settings. Only accept friend requests from people you know, and realize that even people you know can be identity thieves. It's been reported that about 70% of adults and 55% of children know the person who has stolen their identity. If you believe your identity has been stolen, report it to the local police. If it is a fraudulent credit card, place a fraud alert, which basically helps prevent further damage on your credit reports, and cancel the credit card. There is nothing wrong with having a personal page on a social networking site. When used responsibly and wisely, these sites are beneficial and fun for all. Until next time, stay safe, Red Oak. For Hawkeye News, I'm Roseanne Foster.